Hi folks, this is uh, Roberto Briones, Dr. B, uh, here with you just to uh, show you uh, the new uh, Mayfly model that Jackson Kayas has brought to us, uh, new for 2017. Uh, it's an amazing kayak. I haven't tried it myself yet, but I've seen all the features online and I actually think I'm going to like this kayak. Um, today it's going to be uh, its maiden voyage, so hopefully we are are lucky we're going to be targeting some crappy. Uh, just to go over quickly over the features that this kayak brings us now, uh, I'm here to talk about, I'm going to be going from bow to the back end of the, of the kayak and I'll uh, show you uh, those features, what they're like. First, we have the uh, new handles, uh, Jackson Kayak ergonomic handles. You have them located in the front and you have two on the sides. Uh, it makes it easier for you to uh, carry the kayak. Um, uh, this year, yeah, uh, Jackson Kayak came with the new uh, hatch, the front hatch has new latches and the new hinges. So it's very easy to open just like this. Voila, you got it open. Uh, the Mayfly also comes with a, uh, with a new tray that fits the, um, the, the hole right here and it covers the inside of, uh, of the kayak. Here you can uh, put whatever you want and yeah, that's it. It also comes with the GoPro mount which comes standard with all the Yaxan uh, models and you have several Yak Attack gear tracks. These are new for this year, all the uh, higher end Jackson kayaks, they now come with standard uh, metal Yak Attack gear tracks. Uh, you have two short ones, four, uh, four uh, inches long on each side in the, at the front, and then you have a whole bunch of other longer ones throughout the kayak. It also comes with uh, standard stand-up assist from uh, Jackson and uh, this year that what makes very uh, this uh, kayak very unique is the fact that it has a very open cockpit nothing that can get tangled uh, for the fly fishermen uh, whenever you're peeling your line you're not going to get tangled on any of the features of the kayak that was something that people were finding a little bit frustrating with uh, with the previous um, models so here we have the foot pegs which are now not pegs but this bar right here that you can adjust it just by turning the the knobs and just moving it back and forth it also comes with uh, the foam pads for you to have a more comfortable day out on the water also standard comes with a pistol grip ram mount um, rod holder which uh, will help you keep your rod out of the way and also uh, at e easy reach. Uh, another feature uh, is the latches right here where you can store your fly uh, boxes and it is very low profile. As you can tell, nothing can get tangled on that. Um, now this year, Jackson Kayak is uh, adding this 27 ounce tumbler from Orion Cooler and it fits perfectly in this cup holder that just gets mounted on any uh, Yak Attack gear track. Just moving backwards in the kayak, you'll see that you have this uh, recessed um, indentation for you to place your, your uh, fly rod. So what you can do is just take it out, just sit it right there, obviously without this being in the way, and you can just keep your rod like that and your reel is not gonna get scratched. One thing I forgot to mention about is the, the new rod tip protectors that are just tubes and they're protected completely 360 degrees around the the um, the fishing rod the seat the ergonomic seat that we have here is the elite seat 3.0 and it is very comfortable still comes with the thermal rest back support now it comes with a platypus 
bladder for you to be able to drink water while on the kayak. It also comes with the standard sea line uh, bag, which started coming out last year, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, some of the uh, accessories that come with a kayak are fish grips. They float if ever you lose them on the water. It comes with a Plano 3600 series Plano box and uh, line cutters, which is mounted on your the frame of your uh, elite seat. Now, uh, one thing about this kayak is that just by turning these two knobs, you can slide the seats back and forward. Okay, I have to do it. Back and forward to adjust it to wherever you want to sit while on the water. You just have to tighten it back up and there you go. Now it's easier to remove the seat just by pulling out the pins on the frame of the of the seat and there you go you have a lawn chair now you can also put it in the high position just by sliding it in just like that first in the back and then up you go again all you have to do was just to slide this through the seat moving backwards on the kayak you also have your flush rod mounts if you like conventional uh, fishing you can uh, always use those to carry your your rods another thing I forgot to mention is that since the beginning Jackson kayak started making this uh, these bungees for you to put your your uh, your rod uh, sorry your uh, your paddle you keep it in place further back well as you can tell there's lots of uh, gear tracks all over the kayak which makes it possible for you to mount infinite number of, uh, of accessories that mount with the t-bolts uh, so all of them or most of them yak attack accessories as you can tell here in the back we have this deeper indentation which is uh, made for the reels uh, if you have larger reels that you don't want to get scratched they're also protected with some foam all you have to do is just put your rod right here actually you would just slide it in there just to protect the tip and there you go nothing's gonna happen there's protection right here and on the bottom extra protection you just pull this bungee and just keep it right there. A large uh, back area where you can have your uh, crate. If you're one of those that likes to travel with crates, well, there's a large enough uh, uh, back area that can also fit a 25 quart Orion cooler. Another thing is that if you remove this, the, the seat, you can also mount an Orion cooler and use it as a higher seat for your kayak. In the back, you see more gear tracks and the same uh, system as in the front for the hatch cover, the back hatch cover, which also it's easy for you to just lift up and there you go. There's lots of room to store stuff. I have, I've only put my, my PFD in there. And uh, that's about it. Now, in the in the very end of the kayak, what you can see is this base, which is uh, PowerPole Micro ready. So, like you just uh, bolt it into the already mounted screws, and there you go. Now, the Jackson kayak uh, flags are back for all the uh, the Jackson kayaks uh, being sold. Anyways. Uh, that is the um, walkthrough of the new uh, Jackson Kayak Mayfly, which is uh, made with the uh, fly fishing angler in mind. But it doesn't mean that conventional fishing or fishermen cannot uh, use this. If you are a minimalist in terms of going fishing, you don't like too many electronics, too many things getting in the way of your fishing, well, this is the boat for you. Hope you liked the video and uh, see you out on the water.